At Topanga Canyon's Community Baseball Park, vendors, musicians, and families came together to celebrate Earth Day. They were all there to help promote their vision for the Earth, and there was a theme among vending booths. Solar power, a source of energy the DWP hopes to incorporate into their green scheme by 2020. Businessmen say the emergence of solar power as a main source of public energy will create jobs in the suffering economy. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of these green collar jobs coming out there in the future. I mean, I think that's what everybody hopes. You know, we're only, again, scratching the surface on the power of what is possible in terms of going solar. Newman says as far as the job market goes, he thinks Los Angeles has hit a home run by investing in renewable energy. There's going to be so many more jobs, whether it be in sales or marketing or also, you know, of course, on the, um, you know, on installation. But another team at the ballpark says the transition to a greener city will be much harder. The displacement of blue-collar workers is among their largest fears. Oh, the, the coal miners will just retrain and they'll be able to install, install solar or windmills. I don't think that's going to happen. Woodside agrees that solar power is a good investment for the city, but he says a bigger, better game plan is needed if we want to come out on top. The transition isn't just taking coal miners and turning them into solar power and uh, panel installers. It's about transitioning this entire society. He's telling fellow Earth enthusiasts that the way we create waste and use energy will affect our hope for a greener Los Angeles. We got to rethink the, the way we're <laughs> the way we're doing business here. Although I'm hoping transition is a part of that conversation. So. Woodside's vision for the future is still cloudy, but he thinks the city will be far from winning the game until a cohesive plan is in place. This is Kimberly Urcho reporting for 501 News.